All right, so inside Adobe Illustrator, let's start this off by grabbing the Type tool inside the toolbar. I'm just going to click once and type the letter B. Now, this effect will work better with a heavy font style. So in my ends and inside the character panel, I'll use Media Pro and I'll set the font style to black and I will up the font size to 500 and 50 points. I'm also going to use just stroke. And under the top menu, I'll go ahead and create outline. So this right now, it's a shape because that's what we need since we're going to divide this into regions. I will send this horizontally and vertically to the artboards. And I'm also going to target this compound path and bring this outside the group. I double click, rename this to letter B to keep things organized. And I'm also going to click and drag this at the very bottom on the plus icon to create a duplicate just in case and to go back to the original shape. All right, now I'll go ahead and grab the pen tool. And then right here, for example, I'll click and drag upwards. And as I am, I'm pressing the shift key on the keyboard to create the first smooth point. Right here, I'll click and drag upwards and then create a nice smooth curve. All right. I'll grab the pen tool again. Right here, click and drag downwards. Press the shift key as I am. And then where the intersection is here, I'll click and drag downwards. Again, press the shift key to create another smooth curve. So with the direct selection tool, I can just move those handles here and just create a better curve, perhaps. All right, something along those lines. I'll continue with the pen tool. I'll click and drag and then move the pen tool right here around between those two shapes. Click and drag, press the shift key as I am. Go at the very bottom right here, click and drag downwards and release that. Then I grab the direct selection tool and work on the shape and on this curve to make it nice and smooth. I'm also going to bring this in just a tad. Bring this out and as I am, I'm pressing the shift key like so. So I like the shape. I like the way I have broken this down into regions and I'm ready to go to the next step and start merging regions. So in order to start merging regions, we're going to use the very powerful shape builder tool. First, with a selection tool, I will mark you select all of these paths. I grab the shape builder tool from the toolbar and all I have to do is hover over a region that I would like to merge and then click once. I'll do the same for the remaining of the regions and merge them like so. And looking inside the layer panel, I can see that I have four closed paths. So for example, I'll target this path here. I grab the gradient tool and inside the gradient panel, for the fill, I'll apply the default black and white gradient. And in this case, we have a linear gradient. But instead of that, I'm going to use the very powerful freeform gradient. And this way we can have multiple color stops in a random sequence. So I will target this color stop. And inside my libraries, I have already assigned some colors of my choice. I'll use this color for this color stop. This one, I can click to add a color stop, change its color and do the same. I can also move around a color stop or I can also spread its color from here. I'll do the same for this one. I'll spread its color a bit and then make sure there is no stroke. Let's do one more example here. I grab the gradient tool. I'll make sure that I'm the fill, not the stroke. I'll apply the default gradient. 
from linear we're going to use the free from gradient and here the color stops and perhaps for this one I can use this color increase its influence and so on all right just make sure that there's no stroke once again and the process continues to be exactly the same I'm applying free from gradients to your liking 